Hello everybody, my name is Zool, and welcome to my guide on how to install mods for Oblivion using Mod Organizer. Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Oblivion for Mod Organizer tutorial series. In today's episode, we are going to be covering a mod that I have meant to cover for a very long time. I apologize profusely to those of you who have been asking me to cover this mod for the better part of a year now. I don't know why I haven't gotten around to it, so without further ado, Better Cities. For the uninformed, Better Cities is a mod for Oblivion that just makes the cities better. It does this by adding new buildings, new quests, new structures, new foliage. It does have a performance in impact, but in my opinion, it's definitely worth it because it changes plain areas like this into crazy amazing areas like this and it adds an entire upper floor to this section of the city it adds planks you can run around on every city is an absolute delight this mod adds so much that i could probably go on for about an hour and still have more to talk about after that but this series isn't really about mod showcasing it's more about the installation process of these mods so without further ado how to install better cities in order to install better cities you're going to need to follow the following instructions man that was kind of a weird sentence anyways head over to the file section of the mods page and you're going to need to use the download with manager button to download both the better cities main file and the better cities primary resources file now i should note that better cities primary resources is a very large file if you have kind of slow internet like i do it may take a little while for you to download it i would recommend hitting the download with manager button and then maybe going to get coffee go for a walk because it will take a while Fortunately for you, I've pre-downloaded both files, so you don't have to sit around and watch me download them on the video. We're going to start by installing the resources first, so once that's downloaded, double click on that. Now I highly recommend the installation of the resources first, because I have seen some problems when trying to install things the other way around, so keep that in mind. Once the extraction is complete, follow these steps. Leave blood mud checked and then hit next. After that, you are not going to select any of the optional options here unless you are using a body replacer, which I am not. Then just click the install button and wait for the mod to install. Again, this will take a little while. Once the resources are installed, we can move over to the main file. Click on your double cities here with a double click and it'll begin extracting. After that, we're going to select the following options. It's going to ask whether or not you're using the file with Open Cities Reborn. We are not, so leave the without option checked and then hit next. After that, it's going to ask you if you'd like all the ESPs to be merged into a single ESP in regards to the Imperial City. Note that this does not merge the Imperial City into one big Imperial City, it simply just puts it as one ESP. Since we're going to be using all the different districts, leave this checked because it's going to reduce the amount of ESPs in our load order. Next up, it's going to ask you if you'd like to install the Better Imperial Isle. I recommend hitting yes, however, if you are using the Unique Landscapes compilation that I showed off in one of my previous videos, please keep Keep in mind there's going to be an extra step for you at the end because there's going to be one unique landscape you'll have to disable if you want to make sure everything works together perfectly fine. We're going to leave the Imperial Isle visible when distant unchecked because this takes up way too much performance it pretty much kills your frames. We are going to use the waterfront FPS patch. Even again with my powerful computer, I would recommend doing what you can to keep your FPS high in this game because it's not really that well optimized to have things like that. Next up, it's gonna ask you if you'd like to merge all the ESPs into a single ESP. This is kind of the same thing with the Imperial City. We would like to have them all merged because we're going to be using all the better cities. Uh, the quests won't work properly anyway if you have them separate and it's just gonna fill up your load order. So leave merge check and hit next. Next. After that, you get to choose whether or not you'd like to flood Leowin. Personally, I really like the look of Leowin when it's flooded, however it does have a little bit of a performance impact. For me, that's not a big deal, however, it's totally up to you. I'm going to check Leowin flooded and then I'm going to go ahead and click next. The next step, we're going to leave closed better cities checked since once again we're not going to be opening those up. Uh, so leave closed checked, you go ahead and hit next. When you get to the next page, it's going to bring you to these integration patches. We're not using any of these mods, so you can just ignore it. And then next up are the replacer plugins. These are once again compatibility patches. So if you're using a mod like Clocks of Cyrodiil or other sorts of mods that have conflicts with better cities, checking off these plugins will fix the conflicts. If you've been following my guide you're not using any of these mods so you can go ahead and just click the install button and it will begin to install better cities it'll ask you to merge the file and you're just 
going to go ahead and click merge to merge it in with the resources. After that, check off the file and you should be good to go. If you're using unique landscapes, you're going to need to disable one of the plugins because it is going to cause a conflict and cause certain items to kind of clash into each other, including a boat that's going to appear in the rocks. In order to fix this, head over to the plugins tab of your mod organizer and scroll down until you get to the XUL files. They have nothing to do with me, that's just what the unique landscapes files are called. After that, just uncheck XUL Imperial Isle and that's going to fix your problem. Now if you run into any other conflicts in different areas involving this mod, then just uncheck the unique landscapes files because they're the ones that I would recommend putting at a lower priority. So again, if you see anything meshing in with something else, clipping, problems like that, uncheck the file for unique landscapes. Anyway, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more Oblivion for Mod Organizer tutorial series, leave a like and a comment on the video. There's a couple of things that I could still cover, but I'm not sure that this series is really getting enough traction. I'm not sure if it's really getting enough views for me to really continue going on. I'm planning on doing FOCOM. For those of you who aren't familiar with it, that is a huge endeavor. So smash that like button, leave some comments, because if I get enough attention on this video, I will go ahead and make a FOCOM installation tutorial series. It's going to be really detailed, and then if we get enough views on that, I'll get Shoelace to come by. He'll create a Shoelace shortcut, so you'll be able to install that mod with a quick guide that will only last a few minutes. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I've been Zul, and I hope that you have an excellent day.